Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode. Of, can you guess it? Fun, shine, sunshine, reading. And Bear and I are here. It is July fifteenth, and we're finally getting some sun. I was having a fun chat with um, somebody because I decided I was going to change it up a little bit. So I did a little shopping Friday night, and it was awesome. I had my class, we had presentations, it was great, and um, I, I thought, you know what, I want to do me some shopping, because I needed some things, and I was at the American Eagle, of all places, and they have some good clothes, and um, so then I was like, yeah, and I bought some nice, they had, man, they had some sales, it was amazing. So I got really, I got two shirts, two like summery shirts, and I thought they were so nice. And then the young girl was like, I'm like, yeah, these are so nice. And I'm like, I know, right? And I'm like, you know, I don't have a lot of summer clothes. And she's like, yeah, we finally have a summer. And I'm like, yeah, we finally have a summer. <laughs> she's like, I don't think it's going to hit 40. I'm like, I know, I don't think so either. Like, has it ever hit 40? And we were talking about how it hit 40 like a couple years ago and 40, okay, 40 is a little hot even for me, but man, it could be 30, 35 all the time, and I would love that. <laughs> so, you know, and people are like, no, it's like, oh my God, I have my air conditioning because it hits 30. Oh my God, you people, the sun is good. Yay, I'm sitting in the sun right now, and Bear, Bear's just blissed out, man. Hello, everyone. Yes, hello. I'm kind of slow right now because... I'm just enjoying the sun so much right now. It's very good. So I'm just going to hang out and watch Harold do a good story about beavers. I know. Thank you, baby. Beavers. So anyway, that's my funny sort of intro that, God, I hope we get a little sun. Wait all year for it. You know. Then I got my gifted shirt. Gifted. That's me, people. So, that's the story we're going to tell today. I got this from the Home Sense, which I also love. Man, they got some good stuff there. So, anyway, and I happened across this book. I'm being Canadian, as you know. Beavers are a proud and good animal. And, you know, industrious like Canadians. You know, work together, industrious. They're good people. So... Boom! I am a beaver! It's kind of like being I'm Canadian, but they're beavers. See, get the, get the maple leaves. That's a Canadian thing. So, I thought would come at you, you know. It's, what is it? It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Because I get the morning sun. I wish I'd gotten the afternoon sun, but the people on the other side of the building get the afternoon sun. I like the afternoon sun more because it's usually warmer. And, um, yeah, you can just lay in the sun. It's so great. But the morning sun, I remember when I didn't get any sun, if you guys remember my earlier videos. That was brutal. So, at least we're getting the sun now. Thank you, Jesus. We're getting the sun. And we're getting bucks. Those are two good things. I am a beaver. And I do what beavers do. That's what he said. That's what the beaver said. See? Hmm. Beaver. I have thick brown fur and a wide black tail and big strong teeth. Does anyone know why the beaver has big strong teeth? Well, yeah. Maybe for eating. But he cuts down trees with his teeth. Because he makes dams. So that's kind of why he has it. My family and I live in a calm forest stream with tall trees all around us. Today we're very busy building our home of mud, grass, and wood. Because, you know, he has other people in his family. Well, you know, beaver people. But isn't that a beautiful, absolute, I think it's a lake, but I'm not sure. Or maybe it's a stream. Oh, it's a stream. 
Yeah, so people probably don't go around there very much, although I bet you it's peaceful if they did. Na na, crunch, munch. I chomp into a tree with my sharp front teeth. Did you know beaver's teeth grow back? Teeth? Um, teeth, they grow back because as I said before, when I was teaching Canadian history and Canadian culture and Canadian everything, um, we were talking about beavers a lot and they actually uh, grow back their teeth because they, because of course they wear their teeth down and then their teeth grow back. But do our teeth grow back? No. So you've got to protect your, pe protect your teeth, people. They don't grow back. Timber, splash. The tree trunk is tough, but I can chew right through it. I am a beaver. Yeah, it's a beaver. I know. I wade into the stream and slap my tail against the water. Curse splash. Other animals might try to stop me, but the noise I make scares them away. Yeah, it's kind of loud. I've seen videos of beavers, you know. That's a white birch. That's one of my favorite trees in the whole world. Okay, everybody, let's stop a minute. What's your favorite tree in the whole world? Okay, I like oak trees because they make beautiful leaves. I like maple trees. I think maple trees one of my favorite. White birches, very favorite of mine. Although they don't have them around here much. I think I have seen them a bit. Robert Frost wrote an amazing poem about birch trees. You should check it out. And let's see what else, what else? Willow trees. Yeah, willow trees. Also very good. Yeah. Let's see, is there anything else I like? I'm trying to think of that other tree. Joshua trees, I think. So there's plenty of trees I like. I, I have tree friends. Yeah. I hold a branch in my mouth and swim through the water with my webbed feet. Guiding the branch is hard work, but I'm an excellent swimmer. Because, swimmer. you know, beavers, they swim. I am a beaver. So, yeah. I think those are loons. And then, of course, those are deer. We have a lot of deer in Canada, too. I sometimes see them. We have a lot of deer. My whole family joins in, bringing sticks and leaves to finish building our home. With everyone working together as a team, we'll have this job done in no time. Wow, how many beavers do you see? Can you count all the beavers? How many beavers? Well, I gotta see too. I haven't counted. One beaver, two beavers, three beavers, four beavers. I think I see four beavers. And a red fox and a mallard. Hair. Yeah, oh my goodness, there's lots of animals there. I climb up onto the lodge and place my branch at the very top. It might look messy, but I know the perfect spot. I am a beaver. Um, did you know what they call a lodge? What do they call the lodge? Does anybody know? It's the beaver house, the beaver house. You know, yeah. Oh, look, there's, and then there's a moose, and then a Canadian goose, and a heron, I think, and an owl. Wow. This is our Canadian animals, too. You can see all the Canadian animals. That's pretty neat, man. Let's see. We worked all night, but our home is now ready. It looks fantastic. As the sun rises, my family swims into the lodge where it's cozy and dry. Man, it's always good to be cozy and dry, isn't it? I think it is. So, Bear and me, we weren't always, you know. But we are now. Yeah. So, let's check it out. Splash! I dive off the lodge and swim into the secret underwater tunnel. The tunnel leads right inside where everyone is waiting for me. Did you know that that's how beavers get inside their lodge? 
there's a secret underwater tunnel that they make so that no other animal can get in very easily because no other animal knows how to get in. So they're pretty safe, actually. The beavers are pretty safe, usually. And safe is a good thing to be. We're safe. We settle into our new home and to rest and have a snack after a job well done because we are beavers and we do what beavers do. There you go. Man, that's a family of beavers. Well, I'm Canadian too. And Bear's Canadian. Yeah, we do what Canadians do. <laughs> that's how you can tell us. That's how you know who we are. So, everybody. And that's the story. That's the story of the beaver. We hope you enjoyed it very much. And we hope that you have such a wonderful Saturday. Because it's the beginning of my weekend. Maybe, do you want to say something? Want to say something? Everybody, just have a really wonderful day. And we love you. Thank you for saying that, baby. We do love you. And we hope you have a good day. Happy weekend. Bye, people.